old man winter is sort of like that uh, student trying to take that big test. Fell asleep halfway through and realizing there's only a few days left of the season. I was like, well, got to catch up. Well, that's what's going to be the case the next couple of days. A little more taste of winter after a little bit of spring today. And, well, there's going to be more spring-like conditions come Thursday. Let's talk about what we have right now. It's been beautiful. 40 degrees at our studios right now, calm winds at the moment, and we have really cooled down by the lake. 36 at the Blotnick Bridge and Sky Harbor, 37 at the Interchange and the Bong Airport, still a 52 up at Duluth International Airport, as a little bit of that lake breeze has started to kick on in, especially along the North Shores, mid-30s there, but everyone else still in the 50s and a few upper 40s. Uh, looks like the hot spots are Siren and Ashland at 55, Hibbing, Grand Rapids still in the low 50s, and there you go, that little bit of breeze coming a little bit down froth of Lake Superior, but everyone else away from the lake uh, still seeing it from the south southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But we are keeping our eyes out to the west. So as you can see, we got that low pressure system, uh, plenty of moisture behind it right there. All this is going to be making its way towards the east here. Now, this is where things are a little bit interesting because typically you want to see that snow and that uh, formation pretty much to the uh, east and to the north. It's to the west, so gives an indication that the low is strengthening, but not having a lot of moisture ahead of it. So behind it is where we're going to see a lot of it falling as we go through your overnight hours. So increasing clouds for most of us tonight, but dry. But as you head up towards the Iron Range and the Rainy River Basin, you're going to see those snow showers increase after midnight. And they're going to stay there throughout the morning hours, and there will be at times snowfall rates up to an inch per hour. After we get that initial line through, the afternoon hours are going to be a little less when it comes to snow coverage, more widely scattered, lighter. But then the low starts to gain strength again once it reaches the eastern half of our area. So Ashland, Hayward areas, the Upper Peninsula, you're going to start to see those snow showers pick up. And maybe some lake effect along the South Shore snow belt as you head into your Wednesday morning. So overall, we're looking at 5 to 10 inches in Cochin County, 3 to 6 inches pretty close there, just to the north of the Iron Range, 4 to 8 inches in the Upper Peninsula. But most everybody else looking to be uh, as much as 4 inches or even just a dusting in the I-35 corridor here. So when it comes to the actual alerts, uh, winter storm warning for Cooch County, winter weather advisories for uh, northern St. Louis along with Gogebic and Octonagon counties. And the reason for that is more for the winds in some locations. They're going to get gusty from the north, at times blowing over 30 miles per hour. So any snow that does fall, blowing, drifting, reduced visibility, but also a big player in our temperatures. Take a look. As you get going Tuesday morning, most of us still in the 30s, but we start to cool on down pretty quick. By noon, you can already see teens and 20s, maybe a few low 40s in our far southeast areas. But by Tuesday evening and overnight, we're looking at single digits and teens for your temperatures. And uh, the wind chills, they're going to be below zero. These could be some of the coldest wind chills we have seen in over a month. So keep an eye on that as we'll keep you up to date on the latest winter conditions. You see that 15 for a high on Wednesday. It's a one-day cool down. Back to the 30s, 40s, 50s by the weekend. Oh, wild stuff. Coming up next in sports, a 